Good afternoon. Oh, come on. We're a warm group of folks. Good afternoon. I know I'm the only thing keeping you from your lunch, so I'll, I'll be brief and to the point. But as a member of the Dutch caucus, I am very honored to be a part of this distinguished uh, group of folks uh, for Holland on the Hill. Uh, Holland on the Hill has a long tradition that really is based upon the friendship, the partnership, uh, and the collaborative efforts that take place between uh, the Dutch people and uh, those of us in the United States that has a long history of over 400 years. As a matter of fact, it really began with uh, um, uh, a little place, a little real estate you discovered um, called uh, New York, um, and you really made a good deal on it. Um, you should have kept on hold of it. It would have been a, a better deal. But uh, beyond that, uh, of course, helping finance uh, our, our own revolutionary war. And uh, through good and difficult times, uh, the alliance between uh, the Nederland and uh, the United States has, uh, has um, been a strong, strong partnership that uh, that I think has made a difference uh, in the transatlantic uh, alliance. Uh, and both the 19th and the 20th century, and now as we deal with the challenges in the 21st century, this distinguished award, uh, Alexander Weinatz, that you have received as the CEO and chairman of uh, IGON, uh, I think exemplifies uh, that long-standing tradition of partnership uh, and of uh, Dutch in, uh, in ingenuity, uh, of tenaciousness, of hard work um, that has uh, been exhibited not only throughout uh, the history of the Nederland, but also of the immigrants from uh, Holland that have come to the United States over 200, 300 years. Um, as the ambassador knows, and uh, uh, let me take a moment to do a shout out. This ambassador has done such a terrific job. He has not only represented the interests of the Nederland here in the United States, but reflected the challenges that we face in our transatlantic relationship. But he's been a strong advocate for this partnership uh, under under the changes of administration that are not easy, I must uh, suggest. So uh, let's give a shout out to Ambassador who's going to be ending his tenure here. <laughs> well deserved for his hard work and um, he's even come to California where I explained to him uh, that uh, part of that Dutch diaspora that has uh, exhibited itself in such a resilient and creative way in the dairy industry that I know something about. Um, as the ambassador learned, the, Dutch, the dairy industry in California, it's the number one dairy state in the nation, is dominated uh, by the Dutch and the Portuguese. And I'm of Portuguese uh, descent, so I know something about the dairy industry. So what we say is when a Dutch boy or girl marries a Portuguese boy or girl, we call it a merger, not a marriage, <laughs> in the valley. And then you're either dutch Guise or you're poor Dutch. <laughs> but uh, we appreciate all the efforts the ambassador has been engaged in uh, here in our nation's capital. And uh, he has become a friend. And for that, I am very thankful. Uh, but. The prestigious award that you have received, uh, the uh, Heineken Award, is a reflection of that Dutch determination uh, that has made a difference. Um, a valuable partner uh, in uh, post-World War II. When we talk about the fact that uh, the Dutch have always been there as our allies, a uh, founding member of NATO, a creative uh, and encouraging partner in the European Union. Uh, it does get overlooked that, in fact, uh, the European Union and the United States is still the largest economic bloc in the world. And 
And we must not take that for granted uh, as we look at the challenges we face in the 21st century. We must not take that for granted. When you talk about this partnership, when you talk about the common bonds that we share that are far, far stronger, whether you're a captain of industry, as uh, uh, Alexander Vinatz is, um, where you need to have a thorough understanding of what it means to have the rule of law, what it means to have an understanding of the values of human rights, what it means to understand that you have the protection of human rights because you have a common set of understandings of what the rule of law means and the integrity of that. And the fact that you can then have rules, rules of procedure that are international in scope that allow a company like Egon to be successful, not only in Europe and the United States, but internationally. That's really what's at stake here. And that's why this partnership is so important. And that's why this distinguished uh, Heineken uh, Award uh, presented by Holland on the Hill is uh, such an important uh, recognition of one individual's commitment to that rule of law, to human rights, and to ensuring that that uh, the prosperous economies of Europe, uh, of which uh, the Dutch have been a key cornerstone in the foundation of that economic union, a key cornerstone in the foundation of this economic union, in which the United States, in which the United States has benefited so greatly I loved the uh, speech that the uh, Secretary General of NATO gave to a joint session of Congress um, just last month, and Ambassador was there along with myself. And he began this speech by saying of the importance of NATO over the last 70 years. I mean, think about this. This is the longest peacetime period in Europe, the last 70 years, in over 1,000 years. Think about that. The longest peacetime period in Europe, the last in over 1,000 years. And not only has Europe benefited from it and European countries, but the United States has. This partnership, we have been in for, not in terms of our, not only our defense and our common values, but in terms of our economies that have created the prosperity for our communities. And that's really what this distinction, this award is all about. And that's why I'm so honored to be here to talk about the incredible contributions that you have made and to thank you. To thank you and to thank the ambassador who represents the Dutch people, uh, not only in the Nederland, and I, he knows I have family in the Nederland. It's one of those Dutchese or Portuguese things that worked out. <laughs> and they didn't even have a dairy. Uh, but uh, the fact is, is that uh, we know that we can always count on each other, even though we have differences on occasion, and that's important to note. So we are going through a, some challenging times, but as the chairman of the Transatlantic Legislators Alliance, as the co-chair of the Transatlantic Policy Network, and now as a uh, new member from Congress on the NATO Assembly, uh, my foreign uh, policy portfolio is uh, Eurocentric, and I like the fact that it's Eurocentric because uh, I understand world history, and I understand that if we forget our history, as the great poet, philosopher, historian Santanya once said, for those whom forget history, they are doomed to repeat it. Let us remember our history, and let's build upon this, this very important partnership that has been reflected over the last 70 years uh, in which the Dutch-U.S. alliance um, is a model uh, in terms of how we can build on this relationship in the 21st century. That's what we ought to be talking about. 
because through shared values, through working through these trade agreements, through working through the importance of maintaining the economic vitality of Europe and the United States, uh, we know that the 21st century will be good for all of us. And so what the Secretary General said when he discussed about the importance of this, this NATO alliance, he says it's, you know, we, we not only did it, you not only did it for us, but you did it for yourselves. And he says, you know what? It's nice to have friends. It's nice to have friends. And at the conclusion of his 30-minute speech, he revisited his opening statement. He says, notwithstanding all the challenges that we face today, it's nice that this alliance provides the partnership that results in friendship. And you know what? It's nice to have friends. Yes, it is. Congratulations to our Heineken Award winner, well-deserved, and we thank you. Mr. Ambassador, I always thank you. God bless our European Union and our transatlantic partnership with the United States, and may it continue to grow and prosper. Thank you.